degenerate primers it is another type of primer uh, that can also be used for in vitro amplification of the DNA it depends uh, upon our requirement that what DNA sequence we have focused and uh, uh, from where we have deduced the sequence of the nucleotides to synthesize the primer so as far as its definition is concerned uh, degenerate primers uh, basically it is a mixture of primers where all the fragments in the primer they have uh, more or less similar sequence but uh, varied at one or uh, a few position so uh, such a mixture of uh, primer it is called as uh, the degenerate primer because baaz dafa hota hai ke iska sequence to ek hi hota hai lekin baaz dafa hame zarurat hoti hai ke kuch bases jo hain wo replace ho jaye like suppose kare ke agar position uh, 10 pe adenine hai to dusre fragment mein adenine ki jagah jo hai wo guanine ho sakti hai usse next fragment mein jo hai wo uh, position 12 mein agar guanine hai to uh, position 12 pe thymine ho sakti hai तो इस तरह से ये जो डिजेनरेट प्राइमर्स हैं ये ऑल दो मोर और लेस इनका जो सीक्वेंस सिमिलैरिटी जो है वो सेम होती है एक्सेप्ट एक दो पोजीशन पे वो वेरी कर रहे होते हैं नो व्हाट इज द रीजन दैट व्हाई वी नीड टू सिंथेसाइज अ प्राइमर्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ मिक्सचर एंड व्हाई वी कॉल इट देम एज अ डिजेनरेट प्राइमर बात सिचुएशन में होता है कि हमारे पास डायरेक्ट न्यूक्लियो न्यूक्लियोटाइड का सीक्वेंस नहीं होता और हमने इंफॉर्मेशन जो है वो किसी और मॉलिक्यूल से ली होती है लाइक फ्रॉम द सीक्वेंस ऑफ द मीनो एसिड्स कि हमारे पास एक मीनो एसिड का सीक्वेंस एक प्रोटीन है और उस प्रोटीन में मीनो एसिड का सीक्वेंस देखते हुए हम ये प्लान करते हैं कि इससे हम न्यूक्लियोटाइड का सीक्वेंस डिड्यूस करें या डी करें तो after decoding we may have uh, the knowledge that uh, this particular codon it may be involved in the incorporation of a particular amino acid so in this way we can deduce the sequence of the nucleotide from the information that is available from the sequence of the amino acid but uh, uh, during the synthesis of such degenerate primers uh, we uh, should account the degeneracy of the uh, codon uh, degeneracy you have the idea that uh, uh, for many uh, amino acids there may be more than one codon uh, that are there for the incorporation of a particular amino acid and uh, uh, in order to synthesize the prim primer we should also take into account this process of degeneracy ke ek particular jo amino acid hai iske liye ek se zyada codon ho sakte hain to isko accommodate karne ke liye hame primer ka mixture jo hai wo taiyar karna padta hai now d generate primers they have uh, different advantages or application because we can uh, search gene family or related gene families or if we want to find homologous genes in different species uh, even then we can uh, use the sets of degenerate primers this table uh, showed the degeneracy of different codons and uh, how many codons they are required for different amino acids and on the basis of number of codon per amino acid we can categorize them into uh, six major classes uh, like in case of first column the one codon it is required for methionine or tryptophan and uh, there are number of amino acids that uh, have two codon in case uh, we can quote the example of uh, cysteine asparagine glutamic acid and so on like the tyrosine and uh, isoleucine it is encoded by three codons and similarly four codons are required for allylene glycine proline threonine valine and even there are some amino acids like uh, leucine 
arginine or serine that uh, have uh, six codons. So we can say that for the sixth column where three amino acids are there, the degeneracy it is relatively very high. And from this information, we can decode the sequence so that we have the idea that uh, this amino acid sequence it is required for the synthesis of degenerate primers and we should keep the degeneracy issue in our mind while attempting the synthesis of degenerate primers and this table it indicate that how we can uh, synthesize or how the degenerate primers they can be represented so this is the standard nucleotide coding system during the, the synthesis of degenerate primers. Misal ke tor par agar hum adenine incorporate karna cha rahe hain to uska jo base ki jo representation hai wo adenine hi hogi. Uh, in case of cytosine it is cytosine in the strand G for guanine and T for uh, thymine. And then if we want to synthesize the mixture of primers, no different symbols according to the coding system, they can be given. Like uh, if uh, in the sequence R is given, it means that it contains a mixture of two fragments. Like A may be there and in the second fragment it may be represented by the guanine. And similarly why it is represented by C and T bases. In addition to that, the same position it may be represented by three nucleotide bases. Like in case of if the letter H is there in the primer sequence, it will indicate the presence of either adenine, cytosine, or even thymine at the single position. So the three fragments we have to synthesize. And sometime if it is given the letter N, so it may be represented by four different nucleotide bases like uh, either at this particular position adenine is there cytosine guanine or thymine so we have to synthesize four different fragments in order to cover the degeneracy of the genetic code so in this way we can say that it is a mixture of the primer that is used for the in vitro synthesis of the dna now with reference to primers or degenerate primers, now we have the uh, idea that primers, they uh, are mainly used as a starting point for the DNA synthesis. They provide free three prime hydroxyl group for uh, in vivo or in vitro DNA biosynthesis.